Hello, Marcel here to show you how to use XREF hair assets in Ornatrix for 3ds Max. The purpose of XREFs in 3ds Max is to be able to have a scene which is modeled by an artist and then reference this scene in another scene which may have multiple characters or other objects like environments already assembled together and be able to retain the link between these two scenes so that the asset file can continue being edited by an artist while another person works on the other scene. With Ornatrix you would have an artist create a hairstyle and then you would save this hairstyle on the character into a 3ds max file which you would then reference using xref inside your scene which is actually having the same character already animated and assembled as a part of a bigger environment and this allows the artist which is modeling the hair to continue going into the referenced xref file and maybe adjust the hairstyle or change some of it and not have to deal with the other scene which is using this hairstyle so to explain things better I'm just going to demonstrate what I'm saying and to do this I'm going to create a sphere inside my scene which is going to be my xref scene and onto the sphere I will add a fur groom which is just going to add some hairs on top of it and maybe I will go and procedurally do some stuff to my hair maybe I will move some points around or do some brushing some stuff that you would typically do inside of your hair groom and maybe I'll add a modifier which curls or frizzes the hair a little bit and performs other parametric effects. So I just have a very basic setup which has hair on top of a source object and my source surface object in this case is the sphere which is at the very bottom of the stack. This is the object onto which the hair is generated and this is the object which will determine the placement of the roots which are being created with guides from surface and the hair from strands modifiers. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the scene into a file and I'll just call this file x groom and then once I've done this I'm just going to reset the scene and let's pretend that this new scene is my final scene where I assemble all of, all of my characters and I have animation and effects and everything going on so what I want to do is import my character which doesn't have any hair so to do that I'm just going to create another sphere and because we didn't change any segments or anything it will have the same topology as the source mesh which we used in the previous scene so now I'm going to go into reference and I will use the xref objects option to add the objects from the previously saved scene into this one. So I made a typo here, it should be xref. So I'm just going to double click that and because we already have an object called sphere001 we're just going to rename the merged object into something else and select the merge button. So we have this initial sphere which we created in the previous scene and then we have this sphere which is local to this scene. The problem right now is that this imported sphere is an XRF object and as such it doesn't have a modifier stack which we can edit so there is no way to plant this hair onto an object that is inside of our assembly scene and same goes for this other sphere so these objects are still tightly linked together and what we want to do is sort of transplant this XRF hairstyle onto the object which we have created locally inside of the scene because we still want to use the groom which is defined in this reference asset scene but we want to use this groom on a character which is present inside this local file so to do this there are a couple of ways and the first one is to use the max script listener I'm just going to bring it up right here we need to use the command called aux override distribution surface and the first parameter into this command is going to be our xref object so I'm just going to use this dollar sign to denote the selected object inside the scene and the second parameter is going to be our new surface for the hair asset so this in this case it is called sphere001 so I'm going to use this name followed by a dollar sign to denote this object inside the scene. So just by executing this line we have performed the swap and if we try right now to change the geometry of the sphere the hair will follow the updates of this new geometry. So the reason that this object is still under the old position here is because we haven't manually moved it into the new sphere. Next thing I will do is just bind this sphere to this object so that is going to be under its transform and I will align it to this other sphere. So that's it, it's, it's as simple as that and again if we 
modify this base object, now the hair asset will continue deforming with it, which means that if I had a character, for example, with some fur or hair, I could select the character inside the scene and the fur which was imported from the reference scene would continue following this character as it was animated. And this, in fact, survives uh, scene reload, so I'm just going to hold and fetch the scene to prove this. Once the scene is reloaded, the object still continues to deform based on the new distribution surface which we set. So this was the way of doing this using the max script listener. There is actually another way to do the same thing, which is pretty much what the max script command does anyways. And that way involves going into the object properties for our xref object and going into the user defined tab to set the aux surface override parameter. And you have to set it to a max script value, which will resolve to the surface object which you want to assign. In this case, sphere 001. And this can be any max script command, so I can replace it with some other thing that will evaluate to a scene node. And once I do this and I press OK, I need to reload my scene for the effects to take place. So this is a quick and useful way of referencing hair assets inside other max files, and I hope it can speed up things and simplify your production. Thank you very much for watching.